Joao and his friend made their way through the forest to a lake they'd fished many times before. Já pegou muito, tem pego muito peixe, muito qualquer peixe. They'd already caught a lot of fish, but they decided to just fish a little bit more. It was a decision that would prove fatal. Também. Joao is holding the net while his friend is actually paying it out. His body shook violently as he disappeared below the water. Crucially, though, Joao is the first of my witnesses to actually see the creature responsible. Joao says what he actually saw was something coming out of the water and wrapping around his friend's head, scaring the creature off with his spear. Joao recovered the body of his friend. Esse animal, que que foi que que foi isso? Tau. 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 O o nome português do 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 peixe? Por aqui. Por aqui. Now that is exactly the same as what in Colombia and Peru they call the temblon, and what we know in English as the electric eel. It seems incredible, but I can't now dismiss these claims. Joao is a fisherman, and he says he saw with his own eyes an electric eel attacking his friend. I know from my previous investigations that they can not only kill humans, but large animals too. Their powerful shocks cause paralysis that can lead to drowning. They even have the power 400, 500 volts. to induce a fatal heart attack. But an animal with the power to burn flesh seems impossible to me. Hey, that's impressive. Its teeth. It is huge. It is absolutely huge. 